Hello again, this is Mark Ellis of Character Creation utilizing Adobe Photoshop with EdTech 597 at Boise State University, YouTube for Educators. Uh, we are going to create a cartoon character utilizing Adobe Photoshop, the world's premier graphics program. Your objectives for this lesson will be 1. Draw the character 2. Color the character and three, add a drop shadow to the character. In order to do this project, you're going to need a Wacom graphics tablet or a graphics tablet. But if you simply want to learn how to draw the character, you can do so with a piece of paper and a pencil and color it in later with colored pencils if you so desire. We're going to be drawing with black. Now the way you do this is you just double click on the color and you can select any color you want. We're going to be using black, so I went all the way down to the bottom of this here and I selected black and then I hit OK. So we're going to be using those two colors. White for the background, black for the foreground. Now, we're going to draw our character. I'm going to go back up to layers here and I want to make sure that you understand that layer one is the background. We're going to be working on layer two here. Now, uh, the tool that you're going to need is the brush tool, which is right here. This is what we're going to start with. So you click on that again. Okay. Now we're going to get into the actual drawing. Everybody gets intimidated by drawing, and it's not hard at all. I'm a horrible artist to do. I'm going to take a step by step through this, and you can practice this over and over again if you watch the uh, video. I'm going to start with the nose, which is where I usually always start. And all you want to do is create a semi-oval shape like this. With a little hook for the nostril right there. Very simple, okay? Now, you can practice doing that over and over again. Now, if you don't like what you did on Photoshop with this, all you got to do is go up here to Edit, Step Backwards, or Undo. One of those two, and it'll erase it. Now we're going to draw the mouth and you start right about here. Now something I want to point out, you want to make sure that your lines connect. What I mean by that is you don't want to start with a gap because we're going to be filling this in with color. So if you start here, you don't want to do that because you got a, you, you got a gap right here. You don't want that gap. Okay. So I'm going to go up and we'll go step backward or let's do undo. Okay. So here's my line. I'm going to draw the mouth now and it's very simple. You come straight down from about where the nostril is and you swing the line out gonna make a happy face with this and you bring it down straight down hook it like this like you're drawing a big letter L now I'm not too happy with the way this line came out here so I'm gonna go over to my tools and right underneath the brush couple down is this thing that looks like an eraser and I'm going to erase here Okay, and I'm going to re-add the line. I wanted to make it a little bit straighter, so make sure it's connected. Go all the way up. Okay, now we have our L shape there, and this is his mouth, and we're going to stop right here. We're going to add the ear over here in a second. Okay, now we're going to draw the teeth, and you just want to draw a little series of squares like this, about three of them. Those are his teeth. Make sure all the lines are connected because we're going to add colors later. We're going to make another semi-oval like we did with the nose right here for the tongue. And then we're going to draw the inside of the mouth. All we have to do is draw a semi-concave line right here from about the third, second tooth down. Okay, now you notice all these lines are connected on these. Alrighty, now we're going to draw two um, arches for the eyes, and that's very simple to do. I'm going to start right here about where the nose is. I'm going to draw an arch here. Make sure the line is connected. And then we're going to draw another arch here. Okay, we've got our two arches. And we're going to do two more concave lines that are like this for the eyeballs. And there we have our eyes. Now I want to draw the ear over here so we're just going to do now if you cartoon characters ears even on humans start right about at the top of the eye 
and the bottom goes right around where the nose is. If you ever look at a person, usually the top of the ear starts about where the eyebrows are, so we curve an ear down, and of course with cartoon characters this really doesn't have to be that accurate, and we're making just kind of an ear shape, I don't know, what, almost like a, another oval with a little notch in it. We can add a little detail here, put a line here and a bump there for the inside of the ear. Very simple, okay? Now we're going to add some hair. Just a couple of jagged lines that come off the top of the eye here. Now bear in mind you can do this with pencil, you know, on paper, just, you know, if you want to just do this little character. And you add lines here. Now I added the hairline because I want that all connected because I'm going to fill that all in. Okay, now we have our character. I'm going to draw a collar here. It's basically a line that goes out like this and back over to the face. And he's got his collar. So there's our little cartoon character that we have. Okay, now we're going to fill this in with color. Now I want to draw your attention to a, another tool, which is right here, the paint bucket tool. The paint bucket tool will fill in any shape that is already in an enclosed shape, space. And uh, the way we do this is we go back down to our color palette, we click on that, and let's say we're going to color in his uh, collar in green. So you select from here green, select a green color out of there, hit OK. Now you'll notice down here the green has changed, the black has changed to green. So we're no longer using black as a color, we're using green. We go up and select our paint bucket tool, click on there, and it's filled in. There you have your colors all filled in. The next color I want to work with is the skin color, so we're going to try to find a skin color. So it's like down in the brown area, right? It looks like about a skin color right there that would be good for this character. And we are going to add the color. So now all we have to do, since this is all connected, if all these lines are connected correctly, this should fill in just right. And there it goes. The whole thing's filled in. So you're learning how to use these different tools. Okay, next color I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and do black again for two places on here. Actually for three places. We're going to use our paint bucket tool again. Fill in this area with black. We're also going to... Okay. Once we have the um, eyes black on here, we're going to fill in, fill in the hair next. Same color, black. And there it goes. Um, and then finally, uh, we're going to quickly use the color red for the tongue. And there you have it. So there you have your creation already done. Um, just make sure here for the next step you select layer number two, which is where your graphic is located. Little eyeball off, little eyeball off. I have one last um, thing I want to show you, and that's down here at the bottom of the layer. We're going to add a really cool effect to our uh, character here. And we're going to use this little FX down here and just click on that and we're going to add something. We're going to add a drop shadow right here. So you click on drop shadow and notice immediately as soon as you hit drop shadow you've got a shadow in there. Now you can increase the distance of the shadow but I think it looks pretty cool the way it is and that adds a really cool effect to your character. Now your character is complete and you've done your first character uh, in Photoshop, but you can also learn how to draw this character on paper and you can color it in with colored pencils, whatever you want to do. During this lesson and presentation, you learned how to do several things. One, you learned how to draw your character. Two, you learned how to color the character. And three, you learned how to add a drop shadow. There are many other things to explore on Adobe Photoshop and also in drawing. We encourage you to try these steps again and again, over and over again, until you feel like they're second nature. This is the way you learn how to draw and do artwork by practice. God bless and have a great day.